you might not even know you're seeing it. It could just be a tickle, a whisper at the back of your mind. But Alice and her wonderland are everywhere. And if you're ever wanting to step through the looking glass, there's no better place to do it than Camden Town. From the Cheshire Cat to the man with the hat. One more, please. One more, please. Come on. No, this is not England. This is Wonderland. It's like a small piece of Wonderland here. It's like the, the Wonderland embassy, you know. Well, let me bring Alice. She's kind of jealous. Smiling. Salas and Leandro are buskers who hail from Brazil. They host a Mad Hatter's tea party on the Camden High Street most days. Cup of tea, man. They offer fun, photos for a fee, and a genuine love of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. High five. It's about fantasy and dreams, you know. And this is what we, we do here. We bring people to the book. The book is 150 years old, the tale first told by Lewis Carroll to a young girl named Alice and her sisters out for a picnic along the Thames near Oxford. All these years later, Alice isn't showing her age. Still a muse to artists and musicians and a fashion trendsetter, perhaps even to queens of the modern age. Wonderland has now been translated into 174 languages. After Shakespeare and the Bible, the Alice books are said to be the most widely quoted in the Western world. <laughs> Who are you? Well, I, I, I hardly know, sir. I've changed so many times since this morning, you see. <laughs> Alice has an enduring appeal, says author Will Brooker, because it's all about growing up dealing with the challenges of that adult world and the absurdities and the rudeness and the rules that don't seem to make sense and coming through it. So, you know, I think that's something which is, maybe it's not timeless, but it certainly doesn't date over 150 years. When Alice was first published in 1865, Victorian England was already thinking about being underground. That's around about the same time the precursor to the tube was first being dug. There are all sorts of rabbit holes in London. This one comes out underneath Waterloo Station, where a theatre company is staging Alice's adventures underground transforming each night, and of course, anthropomorphizing too. My name is Alice. Alice. It's just one of the Alice birthday celebrations taking place across the UK this year. Everyone has a little bit of Alice in her. Everyone, like, everyone carries that. And everyone, it's been everyone's childhood book. She's managed to seep into the consciousness of successive generations, each bending it to fit the period from Freudian theory to flower power experimentalism. One pill makes you larger. Some worry the actual story, the rich and elastic language, might get lost in all the imagery. I think it'd be interesting to see if basically the book fades out a bit and what we're left with is the most simple, visual, recognisable icons. Okay. One more, please. On the other hand, it's all about perception. And back up on the surface in Camden Town... We went late today. Very late. Alice and her pals are alive well and still spreading plenty of nonsense. One more. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.